the weapons. Collective Edge. Welcome to the Weapons Collective Edge. Today I'm going to cut out a fetter sword on my Langmuir Systems uh, plasma cutter. And this is a 5160 steel sword that is going to be around 48 inches long. And it's uh, for practice, like a HEMA practice. But let me put my uh, glasses on and we'll give you an idea of what this is going to do. So here's the program. As you can see here, this is the G code and the pattern that it's going to cut out. Right in here, we enable the torch, hit start, and that will run it. So we'll get to that. We'll show you that cutting. Here we go. Grind down the blade some. It's got some distal taper to it. Still got to clean it up some. Working on the shilt cross guard here. And then I'll kind of blend in the handle. The blade is mostly done. It's going to be next to be, uh, I got to tap the end of this right through here. And then clean this up maybe a little more. The blade is pretty much done. And I got the distal taper down to how I wanted it. A little bit of cleaning up to do on that. But pretty soon it'll be ready to heat up and quench and then temper. I'm going to heat this sword up and try to get it normalized. Basically heating it all the way up to red and then uh, letting the air cool.
blade right now. cool off and come down to temperature. I'm going to straighten the blade out a little bit.
are. It's quenched. Now we're just gonna let that soak for a minute till it cools down. And then I'm gonna put it in the uh, tempering furnace. So there it is in the tempering furnace. It's basically a uh, toaster oven that I put a stack on, put a hole through the middle in this area so that I could do a full length sword. There we are. We're going to do three 30 minute tempers at 450 degrees. I'm doing a little bit of blade straightening here. My blade had a bend to it after I did my heat treat. So I've got a clamp on it here and a bend that comes this direction and I'm bending it up in this direction, clamping it down there. I'll release it right now. See where it's at. There. Look at it. It's still got a little bit of bend to it. See it right through there. I'm going to continue to leave this set up for a day or two. Attach that clamp. This doesn't do it. I will try putting it back in the tempering furnace with a little bit of angle on it and do the same thing. But this is going to be my first try on trying to get that blade a little straighter. We'll see how it goes. We're going to cut out the sword guard across the uh, long sword and program on the fire control. So here we go. Enable and start. Got the handle cut out and also the cross guard. So handles here. I've glued the two pieces together. We'll shape it. And then this was cut out on the plasma cutter. That is the cross guard. It's got a lot of cleaning up to do, but it's got the hole in the center, basic shape. We'll get that work done too. Got the guard roughed out. Tap that on a little bit here. The handle put on. Got that roughed out also. Pommel on. Get that all fit together. We'll rough it out to even out all the bumps. Oh, there. It's on there. So there it is, just kind of roughed out. Got my cross guard. Handles a little bit shaped and pommels on. So overall, that's a sword. But we'll clean it up a little bit. And I'm not gonna wrap this one right now. I'm just gonna use it as a wood handle, clean up on the edges on all this, and get this to be evened out. Other than that, she's about done. So that's the finish of the uh, long sword for Hema. This is the one I'm going to practice with, and like I said, it's got a 5160 blade. It's got a nice spring to it. It should be good and durable. I believe I've got it about 52 to 54 Rockwell. A nice cross guard, good and firm, nice thick one, and a good handle. Just going to leave it wood, and a steel pommel on the end. And I like the way it looks. It seems like it's going to be a durable sword. I beat on the tire a few times with it, 
and it's been pretty decent. So, but I wanted to show you that. I show you the making of it, and uh, hopefully I'll improve on the design in the future. So that's the one I've got now. If you like this, please subscribe, and I will catch you later. See ya.